Hello, Coach Paul here. And today we are going to talk about creating some normalcy in these uncertain times. So right now there is a lot of things that are uncertain. We don't know how long this is going to last. Um, a lot of us are not at work or working from home under less than normal circumstances. And this can lead to a lot of bad habits and lead to a lack of productivity and kind of some feelings of anxiety and depression. And one of the best things we can kind of do to combat these things is create some sort of structure and consistency. Um, as humans, we crave structure and we do better when our life has structure. And that's one of the amazing things that training does is bring structure to your life. And I know a lot of you in your everyday normal lives live a very structured life where you kind of do the same things every day and you really don't have to give things as much thought. And one of the big problems with the new structure and the new schedule is the lack of um, certainty and the lack of knowing what you're going to do and the fact that you have to really think about your every decision and your every everyday life just becomes that more cumbersome. So if we can create some normalcy and a schedule and structure, even in this chaotic time, it'll go a long way to um, helping us live healthier, feel better, and be more motivated to stick to our goals while we are in this situation. Because every day is a chance to get better, every day is a chance to move forward, and we need to have the right mindset um, in this time so that we don't get discouraged and we don't lose motivation. So we need to be focusing on the things that we can control and trying not to get too caught up on the things that we can't control. And one thing we can control is our schedule and our structure. So a few tips are to try and create a daily routine or at least a weekly routine where you are doing kind of the same things at the same time every day. Try to create a consistent sleep schedule so it's very easy when you don't have to wake up for work at a certain time to start staying up later and becoming a night owl and sleeping in and getting all thrown off your normal schedule. So be sure to kind of set some bedtimes and some wake up times, uh, set an alarm in the morning. You can let yourself sleep in, you can let yourself get that extra sleep, but don't let it turn into a whole morning in bed. So. Make sure you're getting to bed at a reasonable time. Set an alarm, not for your normal 3 a.m., 4 a.m., but set an alarm 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock a.m. Let yourself sleep in, but give yourself some structure there. Make it a time that you probably would get up normally without the alarm, but have that alarm there just in case to keep you from starting the day off lazy. Then you want to still go through your morning routine. Get up, shower, brush your teeth. Get dressed. Um, getting dressed goes a long way to to kind of starting your day. It's a habit that you've done your whole life, and it kind of sets the tone for the day. So, get up, shower, get dressed, and then set some some daily task. You don't have to be overly productive. You can set some leisure time. You can relax a little bit. This is a great time to kind of de-stress and relax a little bit from a crazy lifestyle, but set some sort of daily goals, whether it's just two or three things that you want to get done that day. Um, and then working out is going to be huge here, right? So say after you shower, that's when you're going to work out or set a time for your workout set. You're going to work out every day at that time. Run through your workout. Maybe schedule some daily walks, schedule, um, if you're still working, schedule your phone calls around the same time. 
if you're not working, schedule some time to continue to learn and schedule some time to uh, uh, better yourself in some way. There's a lot of apps that are giving away services right now, 10% Happier, Calm, all these meditation apps all have some free uh, services right now. So maybe take advantage of those and set some daily time to meditate and be with yourself. Maybe set some daily time to read a book or do something that you've been putting off. Uh, if you've heard me talk about kind of the four quadrants you have the four of, um, what are the words I'm talking about, thinking about? Uh, time management, the Stephen Covey's kind of four quadrants. Um, I've talked about them before, but it's that, you know, you have that quadrant two things that things that are important to you, but that aren't super urgent. Now's the time to get those things done. Those things that are going to improve your life, those things that are going to make you a better person. Maybe you set some time aside to clean the house, do some spring cleaning, but try to make some sort of resemblance of a schedule doesn't have to be super strict like it normally is. Give yourself a little bit of leeway there. Give yourself some time to relax and unwind. Schedule in some cuddling time with the doggos. Um, it's not super important what you schedule. It's important that there is structure, though. Um, what else is there? Structure, sleep, schedule. Make sure you get up go through a daily routine. Uh, next video, I'll talk a little bit more about diet and structure and how that can influence what we're doing here with this different schedule. But let's really try to focus on the things we can control and not let the things we can't control stress us out. Let's try and attack this situation with a positive mindset and look at the things we can do to grow, the things that we can do to continue to improve every day. Make sure that you're hitting your workouts hard and with intent. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to get motivated in this situation when you're home and you're alone and you have to do workouts that quite, quite aren't up your alley um, without anyone else there to motivate you. But having this structure in your day and that scheduled time where you work out will help a lot and will allow you to have more of a positive mindset. Approaching those workouts, know that if you do those workouts intensely and with uh, effort that you can improve still, we can improve our conditioning, we can improve our work capacity and we can come back to the gym in a place to grow stronger than ever. Try and focus on the positive sides of this and look at all the opportunities we have to grow. Personally, uh, Ryan and I are taking all this extra time to create more content, to make more videos like this one, to help you guys through the situation. We are here. If you need anything at all, please do not be afraid to reach out. 